Illinois is a great destination in summer, but the state's extensive cultural attractions and great shopping make it a fun place to visit any time of year. Chicago is the state's most popular destination, drawing travelers from across America and around the world. This is where you'll find some of the state's best retail options, restaurants, museums, and cultural venues. The city is also home to some fantastic buildings designed by architects like Frank Lloyd Wright and Louis Sullivan. Springfield, the state capital, is another city with numerous things to see and do, including the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum and the Dana Thomas House. Throughout the state, you will find interesting places to visit, from a prehistoric Indian settlement at Cahokia Mounds to the tranquil Anderson Japanese Gardens in Rockford. Plan your trip with our video of the top attractions in Illinois. Number 1. Millennium Park and Cloud Gate Located in downtown Chicago, Millennium Park is part of the much larger Grant Park. Cloud Gate sits at the center of the park, a 110-ton polished steel sculpture. Inspired by liquid mercury, the curved surface reflects the Chicago skyline and the tourists who walk through its arch. Millennium Park is also home to Crown Fountain, a unique modern interpretation of ancient gargoyles that uses projected images of Chicago citizens. The Lurie Garden is also in this park, a four-season garden that is open to the public at no charge. There are special events throughout the year at the garden and outdoor concerts at the J. Pritzker Pavilion. The park is centrally located, close to many of Chicago's top tourist attractions and shopping. Number 2. Navy Pier Located along Chicago's waterfront, Navy Pier is a great tourist destination with all kinds of things to help entertain people of any age. Museums, restaurants, shopping, movies, and theater are some of the options available. Highlights include the Centennial Wheel, the Chicago Children's Museum, and the Chicago Shakespeare Theater. Due to the outdoor nature of some of the attractions, the best time to visit Navy Pier is in summer. However, you'll always find plenty of things to do here year-round. During the Christmas holidays, for instance, families flock to Navy Pier for Light Up the Lake, an annual indoor lights exhibit featuring fun attractions like a skating rink, Santa visits, and a winter wonderland forest. Number 3. Wrigley Field Baseball fans won't want to miss a visit to Wrigley Field on Chicago's north side. One of the top attractions in Chicago, and one of the country's oldest major league baseball parks, this historic spot has been home to the Chicago Cubs since 1914. If you're visiting during baseball season, be sure to book tickets to a game. You can also sign up for a tour of the ballpark, where you'll learn about this venue's 100-year history. Some tours allow visitors to take photos in front of the famous Ivy Wall. No matter how big a fan you are, you're sure to be impressed and happily entertained at Wrigley Field. Number 4. Art Institute of Chicago The Art Institute of Chicago is one of the city's foremost cultural institutions and known internationally for its collections. Housed in a late 1800s building, along with other more modern extensions, the Institute contains everything from ancient sculpture to post-impressionist paintings and many other areas of interest. Permanent collections include African art, medieval and Renaissance arms and armor, contemporary art, and textiles. Number 5. Willis Tower Skydeck From the top of the Willis Tower Skydeck, tourists can see up to 50 miles over four states and Lake Michigan. The skydeck stands at 1353 feet above the ground on the 103 floor, and the ledge's glass floor extends from the side of the building to give braver visitors the opportunity to look straight down. Another great spot where you can admire the city from above is 360 Chicago, located in the John Hancock Building. Tourists can enjoy the glass-walled observation deck or check out the unique view from the tilt a glass enclosure that tips you out for a look down at 1,000 feet above the magnificent mile. Number 6. Lincoln Park Lincoln Park stretches for six miles along the shore of Lake Michigan and is the city's biggest park. One of its biggest attractions is the Lincoln Park Zoo, one of the oldest zoos in the country. It is home to a wide variety of mammals, birds, amphibians, and reptiles. Popular residents include lemurs, two-toed sloths, 
African lions, polar bears, and a red panda. The Lincoln Park Conservatory is located nearby, home to exotic tropical plants in four huge greenhouses, including palms, ferns, and orchids. The park is also home to the Peggy Notebert Nature Museum and the Chicago History Museum, as well as a theater, walking trails, and a beach. Number 7. Cahokia Mounds State Historic Site Cahokia Mounds is known for being the largest prehistoric Indian settlement north of Mexico and includes the greatest concentration of mounds. In total there are 120, with the 100-foot-high Monk's Mound at the center. This is the largest prehistoric earthwork in the Americas. The site was occupied from 700 to 1400 CE, primarily by the Mississippian culture. The area encompasses nearly six square miles, and at its peak, around 1100, may have had 10 to 20,000 inhabitants. Besides being a state historic site, Cahokia is also a National Historic Landmark and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. An interpretive center tells the story of the site and the people who built it with audiovisual presentations, artifacts, graphics, and dioramas, including a life-size village recreation. Number 8. Chicago River Walk The Chicago River runs through the heart of the city, parallel to the lakeshore, and is known for its large number of movable bridges. In just two miles, there are 18 bridges, each with the ability to allow large boats to pass. The Riverwalk is home to many dining options and hosts special events throughout the year, and you can also find several river tours and cruises that depart from the Riverwalk. The McCormick Bridge House and Chicago River Museum treats tourists to an up-close look at the mechanisms of one of the city's most famous bridges, where you can actually watch the gears work as it moves. It is open to pedestrians and people-powered wheels and is lined by parks, gardens, and recreation areas, as well as beaches.